Hello and welcome to this video on my demon prints. He's coming along as you can see. Um, in the last video I was just making some more green stuff parts for him. Uh, he's sort of... Well, he's finished now. I might do a bit more on his base but I think for the time being he's finished and I've undercoated him in Mournfang Brown. So since last time I finished his claw, I did some claws holding his sword finished his wrist off so that looks like it's part of his actual hand now added just if you can see them there the some severed heads on his right at the end of his weapon uh, I don't know if that was too much more I did oh I did a little fly thing on the shoulder side of his armor there I don't know if you can see it in there but that's what I did and that might be, oh, I did some flies coming out, a little fly trail that's definitely going to snap off at some point because it's really quite brittle. Um, so that's probably it for actually him. And then on his base, I was wondering what to do for his base to make it quite interesting. Probably going to do like a sort of swampy, muddy base. But coming out, perhaps some of the pools of slime are these tentacles, which is part of the kit you get with this guy. I think about me, maybe his tongue or something. And then one of the riders is coming out looking perhaps like another sort of plague bearer champion or herald of Nurgle or something coming out from a little pool there with his little sword, just green stuffed. You may not be able to see really, but a green stuffed and an arm, made an arm for him to have holding the little sword as he comes out of the slime just to make the base a little bit more interesting. So, I, as I said, I've undercoated him now. I'm thinking that's brought him all together quite nicely. I will paint him and show you how I get on with the painting process. So, stay tuned. Yummy!